Hi friends, it's Monica again, and today I'm going to be doing my first quarterly book haul of 2021. So I will be looking down on my lap because I have all the descriptions of the books, so don't mind me just making sure I have all the information to give you guys. The first book I got in 2021 was Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover. Colin Hoover is actually not a new author to me, but I think in 2020 I started to read more adult romances and I've read some of Colin Hoover's books such as Ugly Love, It Ends With Us, and Verity, and I love every single one of them, so I hope this one continues that trend. Heartbones is about this couple, Bea and Samson, and they come from different classes. So Bea comes from a class of poverty while Samson comes from a family of wealth. One summer they find themselves to be neighbors. They also discover that they're also complete opposites not only in terms of their wealth but they can't deny the mutual attraction that they have for each other and when the summer comes to an end things just get more complicated from there and I hope this one lives up to my expectations for it. And the next book I got was A Court of Silver Flames. This is the special tour edition. So it just has that um, print on the front and back and then the spine is Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. So this one was one of my highly anticipated reads for 2021 and it did not disappoint. I just took my time to enjoy this one because I was waiting for it to come up for so long. So this is the fourth main book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series, or Akatar, and this one follows Vera's sister, Nesta, on her emotional and growth journey, and I found that I really enjoyed it. I believe this is Sarah's second adult book, so there are more graphic scenes in there and this one was a bit more slower paced compared to the other Akatar books because it was focused on character arcs rather than the plot but then there are plot points for future books and comment down below who you think is going to be the main couple featured in the next Akatar book because it's being hotly debated on all social media platforms so I really enjoyed this one I gave it five out of five stars and I do recommend this series if you want a nice fantasy world to dive into and a lot of great female characters and romances. So the next book I got was Dragonfly Girl by Marty Lambach. So this one is a debut novel. It's about a girl named Kira Adams who's running a high school experiment and somehow she brings a rat back to life. So after the discovery of potentially the cure of death. Kira finds herself to be thrown into the business side of science, so I think that includes the pharmaceutical companies and just big science industries. What happens is you get a nice thriller and people are gonna do whatever it takes to get that cure of death, but I'm really excited to get into this one. It's a really nice premise and I think it would be a really fun thriller. The next book I have here is Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Lost Hours trilogy. I recently read this one. I rated it a 4.75 out of 5. And I found that throughout March, I was in a big reading slump, but this kept me going. In the Lost Hours trilogy, we are following children of past characters, including James Herondale, Matthew Fairchild, and Cordelia Carsters, and more characters. This one was more on the slower pace as well because there was like more focus on character growth and development and as well we have various romances that Cassandra writes are addicting. The next book I have here is What Big Teeth by Rose Sabao. This is Rose's debut novel actually. So this one is about a girl who runs away from her boarding school after an unfortunate incident and she returns back to her family but her family is full of literal monsters. Now Eleanor needs to come to terms with who her family really is and also help her family not fall apart at the seams. What Big Teeth has LGBT plus representation and I feel this one will be a gothic paranormal fantasy adventure that's really fun to read and look at that cool cover as well. And the next book I have is Rule of Wolves by Leigh Bardugo. This is a sequel to King of Scars and this is 
the completion of the duology. I don't want to say too much here because I think it does spoil some of the events in Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows series, but the one thing I will say is that it does center around Nikolai, who I love. <laughs> and I hope to get to this one by April, actually. And the last book I have here is If I Tell You the Truth by Jasmine Carr. So this book is told in prose, poetry, and has some illustrations, and it's depicting the timelines of a mother and a daughter. The mother, Kiran, has fled her home country of India and now she is living undocumented in Canada. And we also follow the timeline of her daughter, Sarah, who is now a high school student. Now, Sarah has to fight against the potential deportation of her mother after some events leading up to her mother being arrested. So this one deals with a lot of hard topics, so be aware of that before going into this one. I included the trigger warnings on the screen right here but personally I'm really excited to dive into this one and I will just show you an example of the kind of different forms so you can see this one has a little bit of a poetry format and a little illustration and that does continue throughout the book but there are chapters where it's normal prose so I am really looking forward to this one so that's the end of my book haul I got seven great books and I've read some of them already, but I'm really looking forward to the ones I haven't. So thanks so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. What was your last book purchase? See you guys soon.